Hey everybody, it's Anna. Welcome back. As you can tell, I'm filming at night, so I don't have the greatest lighting, but bear with me. Today I'm going to be talking about my December daily. This is my first time uh, doing this, and I'm super excited. I'm actually filming this like a couple days um, after December daily has started. I didn't get a chance to film a setup video prior to this because I was doing NaNoWriMo and this is yet another one of those projects that I've really wanted to do for a long time. It's just been something that's kind of been on the back of my mind and with a lot of the kind of mini projects that I've self-imposed this year, I thought why not let's jump right in. NaNoWriMo, December Daily, we're going to we're gonna do it. So I really wanted to do a video of how I've kind of set mine up because I I don't think I'm really doing what December Daily's original guidelines are. Honestly, December Daily is supposed to be something that is your interpretation. It's basically a habit of journaling once a day uh, in your own way in your own style, uh, just kind of capturing the magic of Christmas and it's my favorite season. So I thought it was a great time to kind of capture this separately from my journal and just have it very Christmas specific. And so I kind of made up like a, an insert with trace paper just because I, you know, I like clear elements and I like just the snowy look to it and it's super lightweight. Trace paper is, I mean, this is basically, I counted out all the pages, so I have like a full spread each day, and I just sewed it together. So super thin, super lightweight, so if I decide to actually travel with it later this month, I can. And I mean, I did not get fancy with this insert, obviously. I mean, you can see it's kind of just rough around the edges. I don't mind. <clears throat> excuse me, um, still getting over a cough that's just lingering. Anyway, so it's, uh, I've kind of decorated the front, didn't really give it too much thought, I just cut out some things from the, that new line at Target from the Fixer Upper folks. Um, they had a pack of tissue paper, like Hearth and Home, and I thought the little houses was, um, the designs were really cute. So I decided to buy a pack of the tissue paper that I could also use for crafting and wrapping. And I'll go through all the materials that I'm using, but kind of threw it together. Kept the first page kind of blank. But as you can see, I kind of started doing a few things. But my challenge to myself was because I journal so much that because this is such kind of like a very simple layout that I've allowed myself, I'm not going to get too collage or too crazy with it, is to kind of challenge myself to journal minimally in this. So as you can see, the first day, a couple lines here and there, and just kind of doing it that way. So I can allow myself all the journaling I want in my regular journal, but I thought it'd be a fun challenge to see just if I can summarize it and kind of keep it a very simple December daily. So that's how I'm interpreting the project. I'm going to be developing all my photos on my Canon selfie right here. I finally got some film for it. So I've got a lot of pictures to catch up on from earlier this year, so I think for each day that I'm going to be printing out photos, I'm just going to pick out one or two, and then for the other boxes, just so I don't waste the paper, is to print out photos from earlier this year that I can journal and catch up on in a separate journal. So that's kind of how I'm planning to do the photos for my December daily. And then I have basically everything in this huge zip pouch. I just pretty much gathered everything that I had that was Christmas themed or that I might want to use. So I have it all in one place. And this way I can just grab the pouch and sit on the sofa while my husband and I are, say, watching TV or something. And I can just catch up and do it at night. So I have all of my holiday washi. I pretty much just, oops, 
just put into random cards. So you'll see some that are not um, like Christmas theme, like this is Halloween, but I just threw the ones that in, uh, that had kind of a Christmas theme to it. Um, so I can grab that washi if I wanted to. Have this roll from like a couple of years ago. It was from Target, the sugar and paper company. So all of that, more washi cards. This is from Daiso. It's just like double-sided tape. This is really handy, actually. I really like this more than the sticky dots that I used to use because for like plastic elements and things like that, um, you know, the glue stick doesn't necessarily help, but this was uh, super affordable and super handy. I, ooh, some of the stickers are falling off. I grabbed a bunch of stickers from my stash. And like these were from the dollar spot at Target this year. This one kind of popped off. I thought this would be fun to use as labels for like each day. I I mean these are extras obviously I don't need this many but I thought these would be great for like future if I wanted to use them for like a little advent calendar treat or something but I have those stickers. I've had these for the longest time that I haven't used with the woodland creatures. These are from the Target dollar spot recently. So a few of those, some trees. So I have those. Uh, these are from years ago from Joann's or something. Some leftover Hello Kitty Christmas stickers. These were like free printables from like my junk journal days. These I think were sent to me from a pen pal. These I found at like the card section, e.l.f. I thought they were fun. These are recent from the card section, so if you're looking for some like fun envelope seals or something, I think that's what these were meant for, but I thought these would be great for journaling. Just cutouts from that tissue paper. They just had all sorts of different little houses. And I like that the tissue paper doesn't add a lot of weight to the journal. Um, some more Christmas stickers, um, some tissue paper left over that had like woodland creatures on it, some like stickers, and I grabbed a bunch of stamps that I had. I think I got these a year or two ago or after Christmas, they were super on sale. Um, I love these claymation characters, so I thought those would be fun. This kind of reminded me of National Lampoon's Christmas. Some more Christmas stamps that I've kept and had, so. And with that, obviously I have, oh, this. I thought the deer would go well. And my, oh, this one I got from the dollar store, or not the dollar store, the dollar section. Do not open until December 25th. Ink pads, I picked up a few colors. I've always wanted the silver and bron um, gold just because I used to have those colors and I use those so much that I thought it was about time for me to get a couple of those colors to use. And then just a green ink pad and I also have a black one in here I think somewhere. A red one that I've had on hand. I grabbed this from my stash to kind of add to the wintry look. And this is the recent stamp that I got from Present and Correct, which says Open On. So I thought that would be really cute to use. What else did I grab? Oh, here's another, like the antlers stamp. So I pretty much just grabbed anything that would just kind of go with the theme. Extra stickers, shopping list. A little Snoopy mailing some letters. I thought that was super cute. Another like printable that I had on hand. These were like gift tag things that I used to keep for like junk journals. I got rid of the pad, but I kept some that I really liked. And washi. This is a roll of like stamps and little mail words. And I thought this border washi was really cool. And this was also from the dollar section at Target. They had a really nice um, Christmas section this year. 
This is really fun. A pen pal actually sent this to me a long time ago. It's got the 12 Days of Christmas printed on uh, paper. So I thought this would be a really fun thing to incorporate once it, get close, uh, it gets closer to the day. And I just have it in a smash book envelope for now. And more stickers, of course. I have the Cavallini & Co. Christmas stickers. I've had these for a while because I really liked them. I've used them in my Christmas journal, like journaling last year. So I bought an extra pack to use. Uh, a bunch of glue sticks. I just have that on hand. A pair of scissors for cutting washi. I have this tin full of Christmas charms and like tiny little stickers. So, and like little pieces of ephemera left that I had that were Christmas themed. I think I used most of them up, um, but these were like the leftovers and then a bunch of like little charms and stuff. So that's all in there. And then lastly, what I'm journaling on on trace paper, if you're wondering what works, is just a fine line Sharpie pen. It works perfectly. There's no smearing. It dries immediately and... Um, that's pretty much what I'm going to be using for my December daily. Wanted to do a quick video to show you what kind of materials that I'm using. Really did not want to spend too much money on this just because I know I had a lot of things that I could use and incorporate and I know that once I start wrapping presents I can incorporate some of my favorite wrapping paper, maybe add some ribbons and bows, kind of make it junk journaly, and I'm not making this like the strict December daily uh, thing. I think it's really just up to your interpretation and how you want to do it. And this is how I'm choosing to do it. It's just kind of uh, very me, you know, finding what I have, using what I have. Um, obviously I did get a few new things to play with, but the majority of it is just stuff that I've had lying around that I wanted to use up. And I think I'm gonna have fun with it. I did one day already, I'm going to do one soon for today and I am so far really enjoying this. I've always wanted to do it. So let me know if you are doing December Daily as well. I'd love to see your videos if you're doing like a setup, what you're planning on using or what kind of materials that you plan on incorporating, if it's like junk journaling or if you're doing the strict December Daily. Um, link your channels below or blogs or Instagram. I'd love to see photos because um, I love seeing how people interpret this kind of project. Anyway, I hope you guys are doing very well and you're off to a great start to December and your December dailies. Happy journaling. Bye.